like, yo, man. <laughs> Phoenix Suns are number four in the league in scoring, but held to 35 points in the first half as LaMarcus Aldridge and the Blazers lead it by 11, 46 to 35. Sprint Halftime Report. Studio J in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson, got Chris Weber sitting in for Charles Barkley. You got Kenny and Jen Smith. You got Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, 46, 35. Portland's been struggling lately. They've lost to... Uh, Three of their last four, five of their last seven lost the last three times that they faced the Phoenix Suns, but uh, but they're up by 11. And 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 Shaq Phoenix put themselves in a hole early just by uh, by turning the ball over. Yeah, I'm sitting here looking at the standing sheet, and you know Phoenix has been hovering around at that eighth spot for a while. And uh, you know uh, New Orleans is approaching, OKC, Westbrook, those guys are coming. So you would think if you, if you know you got teams like that chasing your spot, you at least take care of the ball. And, you know, I'm disappointed in Phoenix because they got 10 turnovers. And, you know, they're not really playing smart basketball. Right here, Drogic, who's one of the best passers. Learned from Steve Nash. Crazy pass there. Crazy pass. One crazy pass begets another crazy pass. Right here, guy goes back door. He's not ready. Oh, I'm cool in Portland. I'm going to throw behind my back. Another turnover. And this is Portland team who's playing very, very well. They're number four. You can't have turnovers, and I'm just, you know, very disappointed. This right here, come on, this is a monster dunk. Ooh. But no, it's a Shaq and the Fool candidate. <laughs> and I know the owner of Shaq and the Fool, and I guarantee you, <laughs> you that's going to be on there. You can, you can put in a good yes, word. Yeah. I'm, I'm guaranteeing. But, you know, Ernie, you, you got to take care of the ball. You can't have a lot of turnovers because, you know, the West is very dangerous. you got a lot of teams, and you can't have turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Yeah, eight of those turnovers coming in the first quarter when it was 27-15 after one Portland. The thing about, the thing about the Blazers, guys, and, and you got Robin Lopez back now, and they talk about a comfort level there. Everybody's kind of back where they need to be. Chris Kamen out tonight, but he's been – he's had a good year. He's helped their bench. C.J. McCollum tonight has 10 off of their bench. No, you're exactly right. You know, Portland the last three years has had one of the worst benches statistically in the game. Not that much help. But when you look at what Lopez does, it kind of makes the bench better because him coming back puts everybody right back in their right place. So what I like about him is the fact that he can really score on the block. And C.J. McCollum can attack. If you notice tonight, it's been all his penetration. Him at the top of the key, knocking down the big three-point shot. And any time you do that, you know it's going to help. But this is what Portland desperately needs. And, and Kenny, you you know, anytime you're a guard or any type of player, the more you get to the basket, the more you're aggressive and get a little bit of contact, it opens that rim up for you. And you know what? I, just watching them, my impression is, well, the bench is better this year. And I think it is. But statistically, again, they're number 28. Because I was like, just let them know. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. No. Oh, I was not. Oh, I was, oh. You know you get the ball for starters on the just bench. Just letting you know. I don't even have highlights bench, to go up there. Please. I just want to let you all know that you can never beat me to the tape. But you know it's funny. He did not touch the wall. <laughs> yeah, right. nice. You got to run through the tape, baby. That's all you got to do. Uh, yeah. Hey, good looking out, Shaq. Yeah. Oh. Way to help me out, Shaq. Yeah, he didn't touch he did the wall, not touch baby. the wall. Oh, yeah. That's the rules, kid. Yeah, yeah, first yeah, damn minute. Yeah. Oh, first one touched out. Yeah, first, first one touched No, it ain't the step. step. No, no, no way. It's not the step. It's not the step. It's touch the screen. In life and in halftime. Portland, um... Mad. Yeah. Gather <laughs> yourself. So mad Gather right yourself. Did not understand. Okay. Gather yourself and deliver me your oh, your man. assessment of the first 24. <laughs> well, even though when analyze through the tape. You know, I, I tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> there are people in this world. Yes. You know that. You know when, when basketball players talk, I'm gonna talk about attacking because I, I just attacked that the, that run. Not sort like of. Him did. Yeah, exactly. like, like he did. But when you talk about attack. A lot of players will say, well, I, I was aggressive tonight, or I was attacking tonight. But they never quantify, quantify what that actually means. <clears throat> and for a guard, you have to say, when, I, when our team gets the rebound, I have to get to the free throw line. That's my job. I'm going to get the ball and get to the free throw line. Because if you just say I'm going to attack, then all of a sudden you're looking at the defense. I'm saying I don't care what the defense is doing. I have to get to the free throw line first, and then I'll pull it out that makes you into an attack mode. So different areas of the floor, you should have that same mentality, and you never will pay attention to the defense. And that's what C.J. McCullen's doing. That's what Portland's doing. That's what Damian Lillard does. So when they say they're in attack mode, they get from free throw line to free throw line regardless. And then everything else, everyone looks like cones. I just got to get through that cone to the free throw line, and then I could see if something's there. The uh, Phoenix Suns, 
uh, while scoring 35 points in the first half. They rely so much on the on the backcourt scoring of Isaiah Thomas and no, Bledsoe. Yeah, and you saw the Rockets. replay. I already yeah. touched the wall. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. to the steps. You got to run to the tape steps. while the race is Just happening. You can't run to the tape Just after the steps. Race. Yeah. Hey, no, congratulations. Just to the steps. You, fin see. you finished second and third. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Sprint Halftime Report. Sprint will cut your rate in half. Bring us your old Verizon or AT&T bill. Turn in your old phone, and we'll cut your rate plan in half. Visit Sprint.com slash half price. Sprint, more data, more highlights. Um, you be the judge at home. Uh, you tell me. All you have to Who do is touch it, wall. touch it. No, touch it's get it. to the step. No, it's not Damn. a step. Oh, oh, it's not yes. a step. No, it's, it's not a step. step. Never. It's no, it's not a step. It's to the wall it's every time. We go. To the wall. To the wall. To the wall. How are you going to come First. in an hour? That is, that He's is. a guest. We don't come on Tuesday nights and make the rules. No, nope. can't come on Tuesday the first night. And there is, there's no calculating the how many lives screen. Chris Weber has impacted just by. Oh, running the Weber emblem. Hey, take a picture. See your life. Click, click. Celebration. Uh, uh, nah, Jordan had the airman jump man his legs up his mind. Man. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is uh, what's going on at Moda Center, the <laughs> halftime oh my God. act. So I used to jump, can you? Wow. Pogos. Oh, oh. oh. That's how you used to jump, see? Oh, Kenny, add the music. Which is more impressive, the pogo stick thing or this? Look at that. Oh, impressive. Yeah. Impressive. Which? Neither Jack. or both? Oh, okay. Jack on the 